You were a full-time carer for your son, Dan. Yeah. And Dan has very complex needs. He has. Dan has a severe intellectual disability. He has a condition called Soto syndrome, which means he has overgrowths, as I say, severe intellectual disability, epilepsy, cortical visual impairment, aspiration of fluids, very challenging behaviour, non-verbal, incontinent, feeding difficulties. So basically, Dan is now just 17 years old. So if you just equate to doing everything you do as for a one and a half, two year old, that's what I would do for Dan on a daily basis. So basically I have to do everything for him. Okay, so to say looking after Dan is a full-time job is actually an understatement. Yeah, and when you say exactly that, it's a full-time job and it is a job. And you know, and I know you think that the, contrib the contribution, the extraordinary contribution you make in this role that it has never really been valued? No, for 16 years I've cared for Dan and I, you know, I left employment to care for Dan, you know, that was a huge thing that I did. But in that time, I didn't realise what the whole care role was going to be when I initially started. But then as time moved on in 16 years, as I say, I have advocated for Dan on a daily basis. You know, I've been worn down by the disability and health sector, you know, constantly being told no about services, provisions, equipment. Anything that you kind of keep going for, it's a constant fight. So in that time, I felt, you know, unrecognised, not valued, felt less than, you know, the work that I was doing, you know, and I lost my identity within that time. But now you're saying you're voting yes because you think that this referendum will go some way towards redressing that. I believe, yeah, why I vote yes is I believe that this is a stepping stone in the right direction. It is a start of the process for change within using, you know, helping us care, carers get recognised and to be valued. It will give us a chance to share our lived experience to help implement change that we value then and then within that, you know, that we can be called upon, you know, at times to, well, what things are going to happen and let's get people that have lived experience that they will value us as carers to, to bring up upon that lived experience to help the process of change. So do you feel, think you will feel different the day after? If this referendum is passed, that you would feel different the day after? Yeah, because the way I look at it is I strive every day to give Dan a quality of life and to advocate for him to, to live in an accessible and inclusive environment. And I just want to be equal as well, you know, so I'm doing everything for Dan and striving for that. So I believe that if it is a yes vote, that I will then be an equal part of society as I've made my son be today. OK, thank you for that, Sinead, and fair play to you is all I can say, fair play. <laughs> uh, can I bring in Leo now? Leo, Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, now, you disagree. Uh, are you going to vote no? I'm voting no, yeah. Can you maybe just explain to people first your own personal situation? My own personal situation, um, if, as you can see, um, I have a physical um, disability from birth, congenital, um, hip deformity, limb length discrepancy. And the conversation on care has always been uh, spoken about when it comes to Leo Kavna. Um, it really came to my mind after, I suppose, the age of 20 when I started thinking about if I was to lose my independence, who would care for me? Um, yet the conversation around care in this country is in relation to people with disabilities. It's always about people with disabilities, Katie. It is never in association with them we are not involved, right? That's just a fact. Can I just bring you, because you, you understand our time uh, yeah, situation, certainly. can I bring you to this specific, the wording in this referendum and what do you object to? I object to the words strive. Strive is, own, it's a very half-hearted word. It's another kicking the can down the road word. Um, as regards people with disabilities, why couldn't the state have put in the word must instead of strive, Katie? They must.